manipulation of you through social media. Hi, we are two students from Lillestrøm uh, High School in Norway, and back in autumn, our school got manipulated by a Norwegian TV program called Folkeopplysningen. The host of the program, Andreas Wahl, a Norwegian physicist who on the program researches different teams surrounding society. In the episode, Make Lillestrøm Great Again, he tried to manipulate our school election poll by using social media. He wanted to test how vulnerable our democracy, democracy is by infiltrating the students' social media. After experiment with Folkeopplysningen, our principal was contacted by the Norwegian research establishment and they had a task for us. It was our time to manipulate. Uh, the task was to show in theory how you would make a campaign that could change someone's thought about the military. And in the campaign, we could lie, use false information, and exaggeration. Our class decided to focus on the military draft service, uh, since we newly had sent in our own drafts. And our class also chose social media, because this is the easiest way we could think of to reach out to a lot of people at the same time, and especially youth. Uh, the idea was that the campaign would be spread around the internet and go viral. Only a few people would check if the information we shared was real, and we chaired the campaign and spread the fake news. In this presentation, we are going to show you the products that our class made. This is only an illustration and an example of how someone can manipulate, and it's important to remember that everything we're going to show you today is false, and it's illegal to publish these products. The target groups. Uh, we decided to focus on our youth in different types of environment and social groups. The target groups we are going to talk about today <laughs> are climate-engaged youth, girls for equality, youth involved with humanitarian work, and youth with a minority background. Uh, the themes that we chose had to be relevant and credible for each target group. Different kind of groups have different kinds of interests, and to manipulate them we need to find themes that they can relate to. The themes we're going to talk, to about, talk about today are sexual harassment, climate, meat use of money, and racism. This task has been sold in many different ways in our class. Some made false audio clips, videos, and stories, while others made posters and pictures, and everybody changed some statistics here and there. Many of us chose to focus on the rhetorical appeals, and then especially Pados, because it hits well with youth, and it's uh, something that makes an impression. Climate. One of the groups chose climate change as their team and climate-engaged youth as their target group. The message they want to get across was that the military contributes to extreme environmental emissions. The group made a false Instagram uh, user and they chose Instagram as the platform because it's a social media that you use a lot of time on and it's easy to spread your opinion in a short amount of time. On Instagram, you can also promote your posts so they get shared to a specific, specific target group and send your posts to their feed without them having to follow you. The group produced manipulated photos with false statistics with the hashtag say no to the military. The picture with the fighter jets is made darker and it's added more smoke to make it look even more dangerous. They used big, strong fonts to get the message across more apparent, and in one of the pictures we see the Norwegian Prime Minister, Arna Solberg, and we chose this picture because it draws a lot, celebrities draws a more t attention to the posts. The group that chose the theme racism chose to focus on youth with a minority background. The message they wanted to share was that there, there's still a lot of racism and discrimination in the military. They wanted to play on emotions and made the statement like, would you kill your own or will you protect the government that oppresses your religion? They already made opinions in the society uh, more extreme and wanted to play with the assumptions of the then sitting government. They made posters meant to be spread around the face fa fake Facebook page, Young Minorities. Some of the students chose misuse of money as their team. They want to make a statement that money used on fighter jets should rather be used on starving children. 
They chose the target group, youth between 15 to 18 years old who are interested in humanitarian work. They made a video with awful imagery from wars and false statistics. This video makes you feel a lot of things and is a video you will easily remember. The video is in Norwegian, so I will translate it as it goes. How should we use 109 billion? 52 fighter jets. Or should we feed 10.4 million children for a year? Fifty million people live malnourished. It's in your hands. Prioritize the rights. Say no to fighter jets. So they also made this poster that should go with the video and be shared around different social medias. And it says the same as in the video. Sexual harassment. Uh, many of the groups chose the theme sexual harassment. And some of the target groups that we are going or that we chose was the theme seventeen year old girls that's interested in the multi and is for equality. One of the groups made a fake audio clip that got leaked and a false news article about the audio clip, as you can see here. To make it look real, the students studied an article from the one of the biggest newspapers in Norway and they tried to find out how the article was structured and copied it. They also referred to another article that was real from the same newspaper to seem more credible. As you can see, maybe in top you can see the link, and it's usually in Norway, vg.no, but we put not to also show that it's fake. The fake article with the leaked audio clip was going to get shared around Facebook in girl, different girl groups. Another group messed with some statistics in a diagram to make it look more extreme. And the last group made a poster that was going to be shared around Instagram, because this is the most popular social media for girls at this age in Norway. We think that this has been an eye-opener, and if some students in high school can learn how to manipulate in only a few weeks, others can do so too. Therefore, we need to be more critical of what we see and read on the internet, because we do not know who's behind it and if it's true or not. We chose to show you these products today because we think they are credible and that they match the target groups. We took some examples from actual situations and statistics, but exaggerated them. We hope that our presentation has been interesting and that that has taught you something. <laughs>